guys welcome back to my channel my name is nana and today we are doing the last episode of the sims 4 road to fame it's been a while but we're finally putting an end to it and i am going to be continuing this as soon as seasons comes out so there's going to be a season two combination of the two girls but i think it'll be more separate and individually focused on their lives instead of having both of them living together which is going to be new and there's going to be just different stages in their lives if you're really looking forward to this Please stay tuned until Seasons comes out and make sure to check my channel for episode 1. So now that this little self-promotion is over, hi! Yo, hi. Welcome back to my channel. This is the last episode, as I said, and it's going to be one of those episodes that will not be fully closed. You'll not find the closure you want because there's never ever a perfect way to end anything. But that being said, I'm going to try my best to make it a worth, worthy, a worthy last episode and kind of address some of the things that I think need to be addressed or kind of ended throughout this last episode because I think that some of these things we should just leave in the past and not bring to the next one. Let's get started. Herself again, she's feeling herself, she's feeling the aesthetic of this as I say so myself because I did the decoration. I absolutely love this. Don't mind the bathroom. The downstairs, the upstairs has not been touched yet. However, I think that the downstairs, or the, well not really downstairs, I think the main living area is coming together pretty well, and I think Savannah's really happy with this as well. I think her perfect, I wouldn't say perfect, I guess it's never perfect, but her house is coming together perfectly, and this is her dream house. She is feeling this like no other place she's ever had. This, honestly, I can't do anything with that. It's a broken, I don't, I whatever to her other houses that she's had the other apartments that the girls have been staying in i think this one really does feel like home and i think that renovations really just add up to everything like look at the view you have a really pretty view over the entire city and like nobody can just come up here and be like hello besides salem who always stops by but you know he has a key he, like late and cassie is not feeling anything she's just like I don't know, like, do you see what I'm seeing? She's not tired, she's not nothing, she... I don't know, I'm gonna have her just... What does she want to do for once? I have no clue what she wants to do. Take out the trash, apparently. Why are we not write in her diary? We have not done that in a long time. This is also kind of a bittersweet moment because now that the renovations are coming together and the main living area is pretty much done, she's come to the conclusion that now it's time to do the upstairs, which means that this whole entire section is going to be rebuilt. There will be uh, another bedroom. There will be a smaller bathroom. It will all be a little more... Mm, practical because i don't think it's really practical right now it's going to be all just perfect for pretty much one sim living here with her kitties and perhaps expansion in the future i'm not really sure about that she doesn't really have a boyfriend or anything right now she's just focusing on her whole entire life oh she's gonna put her diary away i thought she was gonna write in as well like have a little writing session how is she doing she's, I, i'm just gonna bring you to bed like you girls are still up to bed have an early night's sleep so at least you're awake tomorrow stop Writing in your diary, Cassie. We don't need to know what you did and where you scratched your butt cheeks. We don't need to do that. Did you just wake me up? Did you just wake me up? Strange to have them not be together. And I guess the two of them knew when, you know, Savannah bought her own house, her own apartment for the first time that this would be the last few months that they will be spending together not because cassie needs to leave but in order to have a perfect home you can't really have an extra bed in your bedroom just you know because you can't let go of a girl you need to eventually tie the tie untie untie the ties and let your girlfriend free in the world cassie of course has not really any clue what she wants but she really really thinks that it's best for her to experience being alone before moving in with salem now, Salem, you guys, I'm going to tell you something about Salem. I need to address this because it seems like Salem comes over here a lot and he's always annoying. It's not like that. Like, he's really nice and he comes over because, you know, he lives nearby and, you know, he has her cat and he doesn't really know any other people. He's kind of like a homebird, which I guess, in a sense, Cassie is as well. And he's in love. He wants to see his girlfriend all the time and he has that... Has that parental instinct if that makes sense he has this big 
big family dream. So for him to come over, it just feels natural because he comes from a family where everyone sees each other all the time. And it seems rather annoying for him to always be here, but it really honestly means it well. Like he did not do it for you know, the sake of, oh my god, I need to check up on my girlfriend, or what the heck is going on. He only does it because of the sense of keep your family close, right? And, you know, Cassie and Savannah are his family, including the little kitties, which, you know, it's it's an odd little family, but it works. To let you Salem, compared to Cassie and Savannah, is also a lot more um, driven by family wishes. So, in his mind, it's been long enough, he really would love to start a family, but he also wants to experience the marriage life, and he doesn't want to wait too long with that, because he wants to be a parent as long as he can be, which sounds like really cheesy, really cringy almost, but you know, he's like one of those people that wants a kid, he wants a kid, and then sadly for him, he can't bear a kid, because he's, you know, he doesn't have, um, you know, a uterus and stuff like that. But Cassie does, and I think that's why he's trying to step up a little bit, trying to maybe talk a little bit about parenthood and marriage and stuff like that, because he really does want to kind of start into this new stage of life. He wants to get into the new stage of life. And Savannah already told him off and said, yo, Cassie is not ready for this. Cassie is someone who wants to take things slow. You guys know, because she comes from a rich family. So it's really funny to see the contrast between two, between a really humble and a really not so humble girl so he he invited cassie out um to go out tonight and have some food somewhere or go to a restaurant something like that and i actually now that i think about it do i even have a restaurant installed oh my god i have to take care of that um hold up i need to um like how hard how hard is it to find your family members <laughs> i know right you i don't care go away leave me alone like honestly dude I think that Cassie will stay in the city until she has the money to move maybe to more of a countryside. She really loves Oasis Springs, but the prices of the houses are just way higher than she currently can afford. And especially since she'll have to be doing it from, you know, her own earnings now, like from her own. She has to do it herself. She has to pay her own rent, has to make her own money, spend it by herself, which is all like new for her. I mean, she's always been spending money, but she's always been living together with someone else. So she has to also now rely on herself, which is also kind of new and scary for her, but also kind of exciting. She's probably going to get, like I said, just a really cheap apartment in town close to um, Savannah. And then eventually when she has the money, move to Oasis Springs because that's what she really wants. Savannah, I don't think is going to ever move again. I think she has her dream apartment, so I don't see a reason why she should move. And unless she like wins the jackpot and buys a new bigger house. Like, I don't know, like if that's what you're into, okay. The girls are bringing their sh strut, their strut upstairs. Don is just being hella annoying downstairs. I'm just going to avoid him. We're gonna shoot some hoops. Get some of those ebbs going on. The girls are definitely going, oh my gosh, she needs to pee, doesn't she? This always happens where you're doing something and you're like into it and you have to pee. I'm gonna have her quickly use the bathroom. I don't want her to pee on, you know, pee herself, so I guess I'll have to do that. Excuse me. Well, therapy, you want to come haggle your heart out at the flea market? Who are you asking this, though? Salem is really trying. He is looking like he could be the one we're ha No, that sounds lame. Oh my god, that's lame. He looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Look, look at this dude. He looks, he looks amazing, and here we are, stinking and smelly in our workout outfits, like seriously, with the contrast, it's ridiculous. Um, I guess I'll have to, um, I can't, I have to compliment him about this, can I give, it, give him a compliment about what he looks like, because, um, oh, there it is, oh, wait, 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 damn, he is looking good. There are, there's a flea market here, so maybe we can snatch some furniture for Cassie's place. I think it'll be fun. Maybe that was Salem's idea. What if Salem was like, let's pick out some furniture for uh, your new wink wink apartment. Wink wink wink. Jesus. Went when you forget to record. I'm honestly so happy you didn't talk for six years because I would have been like so frustrated with myself. Cassie is taking a shower and after this, I want her to come upstairs and put her outfit on put on her party wear which of the two will i put on i want something cl i don't no 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 no, no party wear I don't, I don't i don't i don't know about this outfit like it looks promising but it could just be ridiculous and we're gonna just kind of freshen up a little bit and then come downstairs um oh damn okay we'll just replace that see that's the fun of having money you can just do whatever you want 
I think we should go upstairs and have a bath. I'm sure we're smelly as well, considering, you know, we kind of busted our butt off at the gym. She's, what What in the heck are you doing? Oh my God. She's like, oh my God. Oh my God. I scared myself. I look so different. Yeah, um, I belong in the zoo. Yeah. I wonder if I have a better outfit for our date night. I don't. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Let's go and plan our outfit really quick. All right, let's find something that screams. I tried, but I didn't try hard. No, 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 no. I need something shorter. Something that fits her. Something that says, hi, I'm, I'm Cassie. I don't really know much about fashion, but I know I like this dress. I like this color. Is this a date night dress? I think black and white is always more classic for a date night. What do you think? You know what? Cassie's Cassie. She doesn't really care anyway. And now let's pair it with some nice heels. Maybe not too high. I don't think Cassie really digs the high look. Though, you know, whatever. Maybe I will give her some high. Ooh. I don't know. What are we going to watch? The Clumsy Sisters? I guess that kind of sounds like something the two of them would watch. Uh, Cassie, will you sit down, please? I have come so far. I honestly, I honestly can't flipping believe it. Look how cute they are. Oh my god, we're gonna miss them together. I think it's like a bittersweet moment. Kind of realizing that this could potentially be like one of the last moments that the girls are together. Or, you know, I'm, I'm sure they'll have much more moments like this and they'll see each other often. But they're going to really start in the Panem lives right now and I think that's like such a um, like I don't know a bittersweet moment I'm honestly gonna keep on saying it it feels like a bittersweet moment because it really is you just you can't you just can't mingle you just have to you know let your friend go through it and she's going to know for damn sure well better than we do what she wants uh, as much as we can kind of feel like this probably wouldn't be the best thing to do anyway we have some time so we're just kind of chatting away and realizing like oh my god like this is this could be like one of the last days together like soon you're gonna find your own apartment and my apartment is going to be finished and you know you have a boyfriend and this romance and oh my god are you she's kind of flirting with somebody he's like girl ah uh, you're looking like a snack too girl mm. You can tell Salem has done his best for this. Not only, first of all, he looks amazing. And I think this lot may be placed. Um, no, it's actually not. It's actually not that bad. Why am I talking like this? Why does my voice literally go like that? Let's check out the inside just real quick because, um, well, actually, no, let's get him to do a seat. I also have his tendency to pause everything and talk and then not move. And then when I'm actually moving, there's like nothing to do anymore. No, okay. But what if I want to sit there? Can I request this table? No, no, no. Uh, where am I sitting? Am I? Oh, wait. Hold up. Who is this? Jeffrey Landgrab? Nancy? Are you telling me they came here together and Nancy is sitting with this girl while Jeffrey is just sitting there like, hello. Um, this is what well, you know what? I guess this is the the real fancy stuff. The real fancy Smeagol sinks like we can't afford. What is the stairs? Up uh, toilets perhaps? What's upstairs? There's no ups. Oh wait, there's an upstairs. Oh yeah, just toilets. Okay. I am absolutely starving. Oh, why am I I paused the game again. I'm really sorry. These two are having a day together and then this these two are having a day together. I'm just like honestly confused as what? The guy is swearing. There's some drama going on on here. There is some big drama, big time drama going on here. And I'm not sure how or why, but I don't care. I got my sugar daddy. No, it's not my sugar daddy, but he looks good. Oh my God. Did you, did, like, this is just a game, right? This is just a sim from the game, but damn, he's looking good. All I did was change his beard and he's looking like, he's looking like someone. I would just like jump straight up if I saw him in real life. I would jump my boyfriend too, but I'm just saying, you know, if I didn't have a boyfriend and I saw this same, I would jump him. That sounds still weird. Go on your date while eating and select. Oh, well, okay. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Eating yet. He's done. He's done eating. <laughs> oh my god. He is done eating. Literally, like, we haven't even taken one bite yet. We're just, like, so mesmerized by him. We're just like, oh. He looks so good. Like, I don't even know where my mouth is. How do I fit this roll in my mouth? Like, I don't know what else to fit in my mouth, but ain't no roll. Okay, 
that's disgusting oh my god i am 12 i'm not even 12 i'm 10 i'm 3 i'm 4 i'm, I'm 1 i'm not even born yet oh my god everyone out eating with someone random what the heck is the whole town divorced 10 out of 10 oh, oh yeah um we're having i think we're having the best date ever hot dinner date hot and heavy it looks good you know girl we gotta just kind of um you know, pee every now and then, touch up our makeup. He, it looks like he needs to pee too. I don't know, was in the wine, but then we go, dum, 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 dum. Sa sassy, sassy. Cassie has not even touched her food any, like, barely touched her food. She's, like, so overwhelmed and so, like, oh my god, like, oh, she's just, like, amazing. He better not go home now because, um, I knew he was gonna propose to me. Like, I'm, I'm just, I know he was gonna propose to me. I'm just, like, wondering where he's going to do that. Hopefully not on the toilet because that would be weird. Here, it looks like he's kind of um, pumping himself up, huh? I'm pumping it up, I'm pumping him, yep, yep. It's not what I wanted to say, and it doesn't come out that way, but I'm sure there was some... Um, a better way of saying that. Dylan has proposed. I didn't show it, because if I were to show it, it would be too obvious what her reaction would be, would it not? So, I'm gonna leave it here. This is gonna be the cliffhanger. This is gonna make you hopefully watch season two. I need to throw in something, right? Based on this, this and this alone, what do you think is happened? What do you think happened? Did she say yes? Did she say no? It's currently 4 a.m. in the morning. Cassie's dragging herself back home. And what do you think? Did she accept his proposal? Thank you guys so much for watching this entire Let's Play with me. If you've been here from the start, if not, still, I want to thank you guys for watching it. And, um... Yeah, this is going to be the last part, so if there's anything you want to see in Seasons, considering the two girls, please leave a comment and give me your suggestions. Not made for each other. I just want some feedback, you know, because I think like now we have some time, some room, some new start, so there is there's room to play with. Unlike like other moments, I suppose. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!